Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to change and up res the cobblestone texture in here, including the mossy cobblestone, and give your villages much, much better look. Fairly easy to do. Just takes a simple resource pack here in Bedrock. This is Bedrock 120 at this point. So let's go ahead and switch over to the desktop and get to work on this. Okay, here we are on the desktop, and I'm starting off with two files. One is the new image that we'll be using for our cobblestone, which is right here. And the other one is a custom pack icon PNG file. I'll show you where you can get the regular one if you want to use that. But making a custom one is really easy. It's just a square PNG, 128 by 128, or you can go higher res if you want to at 256 by 256. Either one is just fine. And I base this one on a custom totem that I made. Okay, let me show you where I got this image from so you can download the same image. Let me bring up a web browser for that. It's right here. I got this over on Pixabay, and I'll put this link in the description if you want to just go over here and download the same image. And just download the smallest image. We'll be making this even smaller than this, but go for the smallest image. That's perfect. And the next thing we need is the vanilla resource pack. And you get that right here. Again, I'll put this link in the description. It takes you right to this page. Now, ignore anything that says preview on it. You want the one that says latest. So there we go. That's the one you want right now. That is 120.80.5. If you want to find out what's in this one, just click on this link that goes to the article about that. What we want is the source code down here. It says source code zip. Click on this and download this into your working folder. And I made a folder here on my C drive. I just called it Bedrock Packs. And that's where I have my other two files in. So I'll save it right there. Choose save. And we're done with that. And that's right here. Okay, on the zip file, right click and let's open it in a new window. This makes it real easy. Here we go. Go inside of this folder. Come down, go inside of resource pack. Over here, go inside of textures and then inside of blocks. Now we need these two folders, textures and blocks. We'll go ahead, we'll make those. Back over here to our working folder. Click on new folder. First one is textures. Go inside of textures and new folder. Next one is blocks. Here we go, go inside of blocks. And we'll put our images right here. Notice that these are all lowercase. There's no uppercase in here at all. Okay, we now need to get the cobblestone images. So just scroll over for that. Here we go. We want the cobblestone and the cobblestone moss. You want those two files. I'm just going to right drag them over here and copy. That's all set. Now if I go back here to the main resource folder, there are two things in here. One is the manifest.json. We need that. And it's going to go right back here in this level right before the textures. Let's just right drag over here and copy. And then if you don't want to make your own pack icon, you can use the one right here. This is just that grass block icon. If you want to use that, just copy it over here to your working folder. Okay, we're done with all of that now. The next thing we need to do is to set this up so it's proper for the game. You can edit this in any good paint program. They're all fine. We're doing just real simple stuff on this. But I'll use my favorite, so open with. So I could use Photoshop Elements, which I'll be doing, or Affinity Photo, or Paint, or Paint.net. I also have Photoshop on here. You know, anything is fine for this. But I found Photoshop Elements is perfect for this kind of graphic. Real easy to do here. If you want to find out more about how to use these different programs, I have a second channel called HDG Photo where I teach how to use paint programs. And I'll put a link for that in the description if you're curious about that. I need to do just two things on this. One is to make it square, and the second one is to bring it down in size. So for square, I'll go over here. I'll just grab the crop tool like that. Get that out of the way. I have my crop set at 5 by 5 inches, basically just square. And I can then move my crop around. Now what I want here is to find a spot where what's on the left-hand side is basically the same as what's on the right-hand side and top to bottom about the same. So leave it top and bottom like that. And left and right, I'm just watching this one rock right here. I don't want to go too far because I get a bright rock right there. So let's cut off that bright rock. So the left side and right side are pretty close, mostly just the dark rocks. And that looks okay. So here's our square image. Let's now bring this down in size. The default image is 16 by 16, real low res. I want more than that. But I don't want to have too much. If you go too far and it gets too photorealistic, it just looks fake in the game. So you want to increase your resolution, but not too far. I like going up either three or four steps. First step is the original, that's 16 by 16. Then you double that to 32 by 32. Then double that to 64 by 64. And double that to 128 by 128. That's as high as I ever go. You can go to 256 by 256, but that's basically photographic at that point in the game. And it's not going to look as nice. So having it not quite perfect is really the way to go. Okay, let's go up and we'll do that here. And in Photoshop Elements, it's image and resize and image size. All your different paint programs have a way of reducing or enlarging the size of your image. And a lot of them are very similar to this one. What I want here is best for reduction. 
We'll just do that one. And I'll set this at 128 by 128. That's a perfect size. Choose OK. Brings it down. It still looks really nice, very realistic, but it's a little bit soft. It's a little bit pixelated. So it still blends in with the game fairly well. OK, let's now save this out two times. Up here to File, come down to Save As. It has to be a PNG file. So save to PNG. Let's go inside of Textures and Blocks. And the first one is the Cobblestone PNG right there. Just save it right on top of that one. Same exact name. Notice that that's all lowercase. Choose Save. And Yes. And OK. Now the second one, I want to make this into a mossy block. So I've picked a green color over here and use a paintbrush. Now I'm just using kind of this rough paintbrush here. There are a lot of different paintbrushes available inside of Photoshop Elements. Also, a lot of other programs have different brushes. Just find something that's kind of a nice texture. To, you can kind of see it right there. And I'll just tap in here just like that. And I'll tap over here. And on brush settings, I'll just change my angle a little bit. Let's tap right here and over here maybe, maybe right down here. And I'll put them just going right across the middle, just right there. And go to this side and do it like that. That kind of goes across that middle section. And then I'll bring my size down a little bit. And I'm going to make this just a bit brighter in here. And I'll put a little bit like that and a little bit over in here. Just a bit of variation. There we go. And let's make it just a bit darker. And do the same thing. A couple little dark spots in there. Just make it a bit more interesting like that. Okay, and that will be our mossy cobblestone. If you want to, you can overlap the top and bottom as well. I'll put one right here and come straight down. And just put that in half right there. And that would then blend those two sides in pretty well. Okay, File, Save As. And we'll save it on top of the cobblestone mossy file right here. Notice how much bigger the new file is compared to the old file. That's the old file size. This is the new file size. So that's our cobblestone mossy. Choose Save and choose Yes and OK. So nothing I did there is too difficult for almost any paint program. And we're done with that. Just close that down. Now we need to edit the manifest.json. Two things to do in here. Let's open this up. Now I do my editing inside of Notepad++. It's a great and free code editor. Really easy to use. Now two things in here. We have the description and the names. You can use the same name and description if you want to. It doesn't make any difference. So let's just call this one Cobblestone. And I'll double click and let's copy that. And I'll come down here and I'll paste it right down here. Right click and paste. And I'll put it right here as well. Right click and paste. Then we have these two UUID codes, one up here and one down here. These are different codes, but we have to have two in here. These are basically like license plates on a car. Every car has different license plates. Picture packs have to have different UUID codes. Now you can get this code online for free. Let me bring up that website. And it's right here again. I'll put this link in the description. So click on refresh, gives you a new code. Click on copy. Let's go back over to Notepad++. And I'll just select this, right click and paste that on there. Let's go back over to the generator, refresh, copy that, and I'll bring back up Notepad++. And do the same thing on the second one here. Select that, right click and paste. Make sure you don't lose your quotation marks or commas. Only do what's inside of those. Okay, and then save that. And that's all set. Let's now close this down and go back to our working folder. And we're now ready to build this into the resource pack. And that's really easy. Grab your textures folder, hold the control key down and pack icon and the manifest. Right click and compress to zip. Call it whatever you want. Let's call it cobblestone. Now click into the name once, click a second time. You can then come in here and backspace over zip and make it say MC pack. Now it has to go to a zip file first. You can't use .rar, you can't use .7z, anything like that. It has to be a zip file for this to work. And when you change to MC pack, you should see the icon change. If you don't, just go into a folder, come back out again, and it should refresh this page. You should then see that and double click on this file. This is the launch Minecraft. There we go. And then it's going to import that new resource pack. We'll see that in just a second. And there's import started and successfully imported. There we go, that's all set to go. If you wanna know how I recolored my title up here, I'll put a link for that in the description. Let's come down to settings and scroll down here, global resources, and where it says my packs. And you should see it up here at the top. If not, it'll be in this list someplace. Click on that, choose activate. Let's now go up into active, make sure we see it up here, and we do, that's good. If you don't want to activate it, click on deactivate, and it'll still be sitting here under my packs. Now I'm going to launch Minecraft here without that activated. We'll take a look at that, we'll then come back and activate it. Okay, play, and there's my main world right here. Load this up, and there's the regular look. You can see it right back over here. There we are, pretty easy to see. Let's now escape out of here, save and quit, and close that out of the way. Come back down to settings, and then come down to 
lower resources, and let's activate the pack. Cobblestone, activate. Let's double check. There it is, inactive. That's good. Back out of settings. Loads that resource pack back into play, and back to my main world, and we'll load this up. And there's the new look, including that new mossy look. See right there, there's the green ones. That's a mossy look. And then right over here, this also works on walls, as you can see there, and on steps. Anything else that's made out of cobblestone will now be colored with this new look, with this new cobblestone texture. And again, it also gets the mossy blocks as well, since we did both those two textures. You can do as many textures as you like in one resource pack. That's fine. We just did two in the one pack. And if you want to change your pack or add to it, you have to remove that first from the game. Let me show you how that's done. Hit the escape key and save and quit. And then close that window down. There we go. Let's go back into settings. Come back down here to global resources. Back into active. And then deactivate the pack. So it's no longer running. Now if you want to just make a new pack and give it new UUID codes, that's fine. You can do that. No problem. If you want to use the same pack with the same codes, then come down to storage and resource packs, and you'll find that pack right down in here. There it is. There's our cobblestone pack. And then delete it from storage, and it's now totally out of the game. So I can then go back and change that. Let me just close this down. I'll close down Minecraft. So I can now delete this, and then come back in, make some new textures and things, and then rezip it up, and change the name back over to MC Pack again, and then relaunch this back into Minecraft. It will then re-import. So if you want to make changes, deactivate and delete from storage first, make your changes, and then reinstall just like we did before. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share, and also click on subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.